and splashdown. Crew 9 back on Earth. NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, they are finally back home tonight. You can see them being taken out of the capsule here that traveled 17 hours before splashing down off the coast of Florida. And it was a very long road back to this point. The two left Earth last June on what they thought would be an eight day mission. That turned into 286 days spent in space after several delays and setbacks. That is nine months after what was supposed to be just a week. Well, today they have returned, closing out a wild chapter in history. Here's a look at the highlights from the homecoming. Sunita Williams' space missions have already cemented her place in history, but her latest trip took an unexpected turn. What was supposed to be a brief stay aboard the International Space Station stretched into months due to problems with the Starliner capsule. SpaceX has been an incredible partner for us. Um, and it shows the benefits of the commercial public private partnership that we have. The return delays were caused by technical malfunctions in Starliner's propulsion system, forcing NASA to repeatedly push back the timeline for her return. Those repeated issues with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft caused NASA to use the SpaceX Dragon to retrieve the stranded astronauts. Today, the sequence went perfectly. After months of waiting, the journey home finally began. NASA captured the moment SpaceX Dragon re-entered Earth's atmosphere and safely splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splash down. Crew 9 back on Earth. Once recovery teams arrived, Williams and her crewmate were safely transported back to land. It marked the end of an unexpected extension, but during her time on the ISS, she made history once again. Nick and Butch each uh, conducted one spacewalk and Sonny conducted two. Um, that actually gave Sonny the record for most time on spacewalks by a woman. Beyond breaking records, Williams and her team contributed to several key experiments that could shape the future of deep space travel. They did plant growth and quality uh, experiments to support future moon and Mars missions. NASA is continuing to evaluate the issues with Starliner before approving its next mission. While the road home was longer than expected, Williams says she's grateful for the journey. After months where few have gone before, she's ready to enjoy life back on solid ground. And I'm sure she is so happy to be home tonight. We do want to continue our coverage in Needham with our very own NBC 10's Jericho Tran. Jericho, you were the first to speak with Sunita Williams' family right before they touched down on the coast. What are they telling you? And also, a great jacket. Are you the next astronaut to go in space? <laughs> Listen, I don't think I have the stomach for that. I get motion sickness very easily. But listen, a girl can dream, okay? I did speak with Sunita Williams' family. They told me that they were very excited for her to come home. This has been a very long nine months that finally came to an end this evening when Sunita touched down. I know her mother said that she'll be making her way to see Sunita. Here in the common room, though, there was so much excitement. One, when those astronauts touched down just off of Tallahassee. The second one was when Sunita uh, got off of that capsule. There were so many cheers and excitement. Everyone so happy to finally see her return. And splash down. Crew 9 back on Earth. One small splash in Tallahassee. <laughs> one giant cheer from crowds here in Needham. That is none other than Sonny Williams. After nine Big months, smile, SUNY Williams and Butch ladies. Wilmore finally splashed down she in a like SpaceX capsule now, just off the uh, coast of Tallahassee, Florida. She's always been sunny. Like, she was always a superstar in school, just so grounded. She's just the same person that she is today. She's just, you know, soared into the stars. Here in SUNY Williams' hometown, Needham, close friends and former classmates gathered to celebrate her return. She sends great pictures of, like, things they see in space, the aurora. They send comets, the other like ships when they're docking with the space station. While in space, Williams maintained communication with one of her closest friends, Diane Durso, who heard from the astronaut just yesterday. She was, I think, really excited to head back, and it was just a short email to everybody just telling her what the plan is, like she'd right, tell us what, what they were going to be doing, yes. with, you know, de-docking. The space between Williams and her family did not stop her from reaching out. We probably see her more <laughs> in space than we normally do. It's been a, an interesting adventure for all of us. You know, we're kind of 
on hold waiting for her to come back. And when the sky is not even close to the limit, the question is what's next for Williams? She was going to retire when she came down last year. <laughs> you know, it didn't work out that way. So now maybe she'll retire at the end of this year. But we have to wait and see what, what her plans are. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but there's still a lot of excitement here for Sunita Williams. Now, her mother will be heading down to Houston. Williams has to undergo a 45-day medical evaluation. Her mother will be there for her through all of that. And listen, I mean, I can put the, the jacket on. Maybe I can put the hat on, too. I won't ever be an astronaut. <laughs> I don't know. Jericho, you can never say never. All right. Thank you so much. Bubal Williams and Will Moore are not the first astronauts to be stuck in space because of unforeseen circumstances. The longest single space flight uh, by a U.S. astronaut was Frank Rubio. He spent a record 371 days on board the ISS from 2022 to 2023 because of issues with the spacecraft that brought him to orbit. And back in the early 70s, the final crew of NASA's Skylab space station were stuck for 84 days in orbit because of spacecraft problems and mission planning issues. You can get much more coverage on the astronauts return back home on our website, NBC10Boston.com. If you missed that moment when they splashed down, we have it online, plus more local reactions.